little bit about the demand for English language instruction. And if you've seen my lives before, you've probably seen this slide a couple of times. I really like to use it just to kind of get an idea of what the demand is really like. And nothing has really changed um, since it all started. Um, there's still 2 billion people speaking and learning English worldwide. That's a huge, huge number um, and is uh, estimated to continue to grow in the next years, so that's really great. Um, 300 million people are learning and speaking English in China alone. So China is the largest market for teaching English abroad. And the Chinese government has started in back in 2015 to you know, introduce different initiatives to get more English teachers to come to China to teach in all parts of the country. Uh, not only Beijing, Shanghai, uh, you know, the big cities, but also in smaller cities all across the country. So the demand in China is really, really big. Um, then I would like to mention here these different programs that there are. There are a lot of government funded programs in many different countries that aim at attracting foreign English teachers to come to their countries um, to teach. And those are usually really great ways to get into teaching. So some of the best known programs for that are the EPIC program in South Korea, the JET program in Japan, the TAPIF program in France, and the NET scheme in Hong Kong. But there's also many, many more, many others. Um, and you know, countries are continuously coming out with their own programs for attracting English teachers to their countries. So that's really cool. If there's anybody watching that maybe took part in one of those um, programs, Epic, Jet, Tape of Net, or any other of those teaching programs, I'd be really interested to know. You could leave a comment and um, tell us which program you were in and what country and how your experience was. I think that's always really interesting. Um, yeah, and then also really interesting to know is that 50% of teachers teaching abroad, they do stay a second year. So that's sort of great to know for people who want to go abroad. So if 50%, if half of the teachers stay, then it means you know they love it, they like it, they don't want to go back home. And it also means that it's a, it creates a huge turnover each year, which is basically like a revolving door of job openings for all of you who want to go abroad and teach English. So every year, 50% of the jobs are opening up again. Um, so there's always uh, opportunities out there for teaching English. And yeah, you're right. TAPIF sounds really cool. Yeah, so TAPIF is the program in France. Um, we do have it on our FAQ page, more information. So if you go to teflcourse.net slash FAQ, and then you look for TAPIF, you can find more information there, or you just had to Google and go to the TAPIF, to the official TAPIF page. Um, you can also find all the information there. Yeah. <laughs> There's also the Cultural Ambassadors Program in Spain. There's a program, I believe, in the Czech Republic and in Hungary. Uh, in many, many countries, they have a lot of these programs. There's another one in South Korea called the Talk Program. Um, so there's a lot of options there. And it's great because, especially for first time teachers, they really get support you know in the program because those people working for the programs they do this every year so they know um how it all works and they are really there for you and guide you so it's great for first-time teachers to get into a program like this but also depending on the program you know they are competitive so you do want to look at the requirements and then maybe get additional you know certifications do some volunteering get some experience and then um you can definitely get in Cool. Oh yeah, you did, Maria, cool. Yeah, you did write a blog post about Argentina for our blog. Yeah, I remember that, we were in contact. Great, cool. <laughs> yeah, our ITTT blog is also a great resource, like Maria or other of our, some other of our graduates, they do write blog posts for us. And we have a lot of content about, recently we published some posts about a, uh, uh, Australian girl teaching under the JET program in Japan. So that's really, really interesting. You should check that out. It's also teflcourse.net slash blog. 
<laughs> okay. Yeah. Oh, you've been trying to get into talk. Okay. But because of COVID. Mm. So what was that like? They just stopped. Um, they didn't hire as many people for the talk program because of COVID or what was the reason? I'd be really interested to know. Because I have a friend and she um, works for the EPIC program and she was still able to get here. Um, but that was August. So I don't know when you were when you were trying to come. <laughs> Hi, Thare. Cool, Thare watching from Philippines. We have a lot of people from the Philippines. That's awesome. Thanks so much. <laughs> okay. Thanks so much for watching. We are ITTT, the leading provider for TEFL and TESOL training courses. If you like this video, please subscribe by clicking the button down here and click on any of the videos here on the left for more interesting teaching tips for getting certified to teach English abroad and online.